be scanned as you enter the city. Please keep moving. Okay. No bounty. You're clear. Enjoy your... After that business with the turmoil, it's good to get back to small crimes and petty thieves. Back again. Are you interested in the job by any chance? All right, Captain. Just keep in mind, this isn't going to involve your usual level of excitement. No mind-altering terror morphs and explosions in the spaceport. Just simple, good old-fashioned police work. Your first assignment couldn't be easier. Go to Mast and check in with Agent Plato at Aegis. There was a package left at a dead drop, and they need UC security to handle it. He'll fill you in on the details. See you later. I wonder if I'll miss New Atlantis. The fewer. I hope you're not here to report something. If you are, it means you've seen far too much. They've got you doing grunt work, Captain. Hardly the reward I'd expect for saving the city from a terramorph attack. Admirable. I bet qualities like that are precisely why you've moved so quickly up the ranks. But I'm sure stopping a terramorph invasion didn't hurt your case. In any case, let me fill you in. We have a dead drop that we think has been compromised. So I'd like someone from UC Security to handle the pickup instead. Take the package back to Sergeant Yumi, and he'll check it in as evidence before it gets routed back to Aegis. Take the NAT to the spaceport. There should be a Galbank ATM right next to the station. The package is taped under one of the benches. Grab it and deliver it to Sergeant Yumi, and the job's done. Good luck with the mission. Today's going to be a great day. Don't you agree? How's the invest? Still have questions? Go ahead and... Good work, Captain. Suffice to say, you were overqualified for this job. But given our staffing problems, I'm still glad you showed up. That being said, my luck seems to be turning around. We've gotten a lot of new personnel as of late, not just you. Who knew all I had to do was put up a sign? 
As am I. And the best part is, since you're all part-timers, there's no paperwork. Anyway, here's your payment. And if I have any more work for you, I'll let you know. Crime has slowed down since you started helping out. Yep. Something just came in. Scuffle over at the Don's Roost. Security on site handled it, but now one of them is saying the other guy stole his wedding ring. Problem is, he left without identifying the perp, so I need you to talk to Royce Elgin at the Don's Roost. See if you can fill in the gaps. Thank you, Captain. Always appreciate it when you lend a hand. Let me know when the matter's resolved. See you later. All of our signature dishes are unique to the roost. You won't find anything like them anywhere else. Ah, a most unfortunate incident. Complicated by the fact that both parties were inebriated. While I wasn't privy to the entire argument, Hugo and Octavio had been dining here together for quite some time. So, it was surprising to see them at each other's throats. I assume that would be the slender gentleman, Hugo Fournier. He was the one who excused himself after UC security arrived. I believe he lives in Athena Tower, although he may be checking out soon. But I would start there. Enjoy the rest of your day. I hear Geppetto has started making real robots. Yes, what? Oh, I can't believe that Octavio, that liar, that manipulator, that, that... Thank you. He's a scoundrel and a fiend, and I was wrong to ever think otherwise. Five years we were together, half a decade, and he threw it all away for that waiter. He would say that, but as far as I'm concerned, 
It's my property. He gifted it to me when he proposed. It's not his to return. I'm glad you could see reason. This ring is going to fund a very long vacation across the settled systems. <laughs> Maybe I'll even take pictures. I'm so behind on those reports. I'm gonna drink nothing but terror brew and... How can I help you, Captain? Ah, oh, perfect. Did you manage to get the ring back? Ugh. Really? I should have known this was a waste of time the moment I laid eyes on that drunk. That's on me. Without saying names, there are some people in this city who treat us like their personal security service. But you know how it goes. Sometimes we protect, other times we serve. Either way, I'm still going to pay you for your time. Here, take this. It's well deserved. I'm starting to run out of credits to give you. Whoever. I do. Thanks to you, the spaceport is up and running again, which is good for commerce but also for smugglers. We've received a tip that someone has been bringing in contraband into New Atlantis through the spaceport, and we need to investigate. Great. First, speak to one of the technicians over by landing pad B. Ask them if they've noticed any suspicious activity. Once you've gotten a lead, cross-reference their testimony with ship records over at Aegis. When you're done, Report back to me with your findings. See you later, Captain. I've been telling my supervisor about that cargo ship for ages. I was beginning to think he was ignoring me. That's the problem. I don't really look at the ship names when I work, just the ID number granted for clearance. I think it was uh, UC-576B? I do know it's a cargo class transport, if that helps. The way the crew handled the cargo, they were being way too delicate. The manifest said they were carrying potatoes, spuds. I don't know what was in those crates, but it certainly wasn't that. If you'll excuse me. Scanned as you enter the city. Please keep moving. Okay, no bounty. You're clear.
Another day? The fewer people there are thinking about Aegis on a daily basis, the easier my job is. That I do, Captain. Sergeant Yumi said you'd be coming to pick it up. You've got good timing, too. I actually have a friend on a classified star station who sent me this list of potential smugglers the other day. Here you are. Given I owe you for the last job, I hope it serves some use. We'll be seeing you. Has it found those smugglers yet? Is that right? Do you know the name by any chance? Captain Enjai's ship. I think you might have hit the mark here. You had reports of their crew being less than professional on several occasions. Still, being a little rough around the edges isn't exactly a crime. Are you sure it's the right ship? Then the next step is searching their cargo for any smuggled contraband. And, as luck would have it, I believe the Anansi has already arrived at landing pad B. I'll make the call to have the ship detained until further notice. Your job is to board the ship, locate any illicit goods, and return them here. And if any of the crew puts up a fight, I trust you know what to do. Good luck. With UC security, my suggestion, you turn around and pretend you saw nothing. Looking for something? Well, it looks like you got me, officer. I guess this means my potato shipping days are numbered. But maybe you'd be willing to give a first-time offender a slap on the carpal bone. I don't suppose you're interested in a deal? <sighs> we 
you do have a point. The penalty for smuggling contraband may be steep in New Atlantis, but it isn't death. And how bad can the prisons be anyway? Compared to Aquila City, probably like staying at a resort. Fine, take it. Do what you have to. This isn't over. Scanned as you enter the city. Please keep moving. Okay, no bounty. You're clear. How's the investigation go? How's the investigation go? No major hiccups, I hope. Holding your breath won't work. <laughs> Good work. Did you find anything? Very well done, Captain. Time and time again, you come through for us. Initially, I felt bad for having someone of your rank doing security, but frankly, you're worse than guilt. In any case, I'll have a team move the ship off the landing pad and do a full sweep. Make sure there's no other surprises on board. Oh, and before I forget, your payment, it's well deserved. After that, I still have nightmares about the attack. So many casualties. But we have to move on. Good timing. We just got word of a disturbance over by the Nut in the Embassy District. A vandal, it seems. I've already dispatched an officer to the site, but they probably could use some support. Talk to the officer, get an update, and interview any witnesses involved. Thank you. Normally, I wouldn't waste your time with this, Captain, but a functionary over at Mass reported the crime. He'll be thrilled to know that a Captain of the Vanguard is on the case. Take care. Thanks. Choosing Caravan. I am a okay. manager. I should be managing. I'm so excited to see Tony. Oh, thank you so much. Soon I'll be coursing with bountiful energy. I'll be the most enthusiastic janitor in New Atlantis. <laughs> Here, take this. I found it while I was cleaning. I figured you might find a use for it. Thanks again. I really appreciate it. See you around. Am I going to be on SSN? Having two witnesses with conflicting stories, and you're certain that's what you saw? Oh yeah, he was wearing a flannel shirt underneath a trucker jacket. Hmm. 
That doesn't match the description from the functionary. And you said he was running away from the tram? That's right. Oh, and he was carrying a book, A Tale of Two Cities. Okay, just hold that thought one moment, sir. I need to speak with the captain. Sure. There's a reward for this, right? Information leading to the capture? Sir, just give me a moment with the captain, please. Thanks for taking this case, Captain. I realize your time is limited. Thanks, Captain. To be honest, I'm a little starstruck. But I'll do my best to keep things professional. This was supposed to be a simple case. We got an attempted vandalism, a knocked-over bin, and a witness who called in to ID the suspect. We were about to head down to the well to apprehend the guy when this new witness comes forward with additional info. Just one problem. His story conflicts with the functionaries. Yes, sir. I was the one who took the call and reported it to Sergeant Yumi. Normally, we don't give this much weight to tipsters, but when it's a masked official, we tend to take them at their word. Yeah, and then apparently ran off and knocked over a recycling bin. The perp made a bigger mess running away than he did with the spray paint. He said it was some kid from the well. According to him, the vandal ran to the tram, knocked over the bin, and took the net to the spaceport. He also said he recognized the kid's face. I ID'd him from security records and everything. The kid's name was, uh... To hear something. Sorry, Captain, I'm still new to this. I have it written down somewhere. Well, we got two witnesses with conflicting stories. So I'd like to go interview Functionary Gershon in person. Their office is at Mast, in the Interstellar Affairs Department. Affirmative. And as the higher-ranking officer, I'll let you take the lead, Captain. Ah, Captain, can I just say it's a pleasure to meet the hero who stopped the Terramorph invasion. An officer Markanin, was it? I see you're here as well. Is there something the matter? We just need to go over your testimony again. I apologize, but I can't right now. I have an important meeting I need to attend. But I'd be happy to stop by UC security later and speak with your sergeant. That wouldn't be the best use of your time, Captain. It's far too valuable. I have a much better solution to help you along in your case. I encourage the both of you to check the information on my personal computer. I have written a detailed description of the vandal, Wantahir Vala, a known criminal who resides in the well. It should have everything you need to apprehend the thief. Now, if you'll excuse me. <coughs>
Well, Captain, what do you think? Is what the functionary said true? Is this kid from the well our vandal? All right, take all the time you need. You can go back to the other witness, or you can check the functionary's terminal. Maybe he left some other notes lying around his desk, too. He did say we were free to poke around. Hey. Well, Captain, what do you think? Is what the functionary said true? Is this kid from the well our vandal? You sure, Captain? I get we got conflicting testimonies, but the witness at the tram wasn't exactly reliable. If not the kid, then who? What? Really? Do you have proof? Okay, Captain. I don't know if it'll be enough, but I trust your instincts here. And if the functionary's the perp, that means he not only committed the crime, but tried to frame the kid. If I can speak frankly, Captain, that really, really pisses me off. The functionary said he was going to chat with Sergeant Yumi, right? Let's head back to UC security and see if we can't give him what he deserves. Captain, there you are. I just finished giving a sworn statement to Sergeant Yumi. I appreciate a hero like you helping me bust these small-time perps. It sets a good example. Ah, Captain. Functionary Gershon was just giving me his full statement. It's mostly repeating the documentation on my computer. I trust that was sufficient enough to make an arrest? Me? Don't be ridiculous, Captain. I witnessed the crime. Functionary Gershon, you're under arrest for vandalizing the tram and an attempted frame-up. Depending on what you told the sergeant, we can probably add false testimony to the list. Hold on. First off, these are very serious accusations, Captain. Are you sure you want to go down this road? More importantly, do you have any proof? Now, that is pretty damning. Old Earth books are very hard to come by. The odds of this witness naming that exact book and the functionary owning said book, that's a long shot. Unless, of course, he's the perp. I do recall the functionary being quite upset about that instance. We could never verify it actually happened, though. do have a point there. Well, I've heard all I needed to hear. Functionary, do you have anything to say for yourself? If you think I'm going to let you bring up these trumped up charges. That's enough. Officer Markinen, please escort the functionary to the holding area. You'll Gladly be hearing from my lawyer, Captain. You can't do this. Your proof is circumstantial at best. Don't worry, Functionary. We're not putting you in jail quite yet. Unlike some people, we respect the rule of law. 
You'll be hearing from my lawyer, Sergeant. Expect to be demoted to death duty by week's end. Well, we'll just have to wait and see, won't we? Now that was a shock. Next time, give me some warning before telling me my star witness is the one who committed the crime. Yeah, I know. I was just giving you a hard time. Your timing was actually perfect. Save me a trip to Mast. Anyway, good work on this case. Functionary Gershon may talk tough, but I know his type. It won't take long for him to crack. And hopefully, that means the end of his obsession with the well. And, uh, speaking of endings, I was going to mention this earlier, but I didn't want things to turn all sentimental in the middle of your investigation. With all the new recruits as of late, our staffing problems are no longer an issue. Which means we've exhausted our need for a part-time security officer. Likewise, Captain. We have your position filled, but not your shoes. On behalf of the entire UC security department, I wish you the best of luck with the Vanguard and your future mission. And uh, if you ever need to talk or reminisce about the beat, I'll be here.